In this video we are going to talk about the cheapest places to stay in Venice, Italy. So before starting this video like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. If you visit Venice for a short holiday or a longer stay, you will almost certainly be looking for your own personal concept of a Venetian palace. Finding a low-cost, low-cost place to stay in Venice can be difficult, especially given the plethora of options available. It's a pricey city, but with the correct advice, you might just discover the ideal affordable hotel. The cheapest places to stay in Venice, Italy, are listed below. CA on Galli. You want to be in the middle of the action in Venice, but you're on a budget, right? Do not be concerned. CA Angeli, a canal-side palazzo, could be the solution to your problem. This hotel has a great view of the Grand Canal and is close to San Marco Square and the Rialto Bridge. It takes a few minutes to walk to the S. Silvestro Vaporetto stop. The rooms are tastefully designed in a traditional style with antique elements. They are, however, light and airy, and very clean, rather than being heavy and elaborate. Beamed ceilings, ancient rugs, and Murano glass chandeliers are all to be expected. Some rooms offer balconies with views of the Grand Canal. They are air-conditioned and provide free Wi-Fi access. The complimentary breakfast is abundant, of excellent quality, organic foods are used whenever feasible, and served in a beautiful waterfront dining area. The staff is really friendly and will provide you with a wealth of information. If you ask the hotel personnel, they will gladly store your luggage in a secure location. The cost of a room starts at roughly £87 per night. Venisa. Look no farther than this hotel if you're looking for something a little different and eccentric. Enjoy your low-cost Venetian vacation in the privacy of an island hideaway and dine at the on-site gourmet restaurant, Venisa. Venisa is a small Venetian island off the coast of Mazorbo. The hotel is unique in that it is a converted farmhouse with two types of accommodations, a more budget-friendly option with shared bathrooms and the bare essentials like beds, or a more luxurious choice with a private room and bath. The island is on a Vaporetto stop, and it is the last stop before arriving at Burano. The hotel is a haven of tranquility, a world apart from the activity of central Venice, and offers a different perspective on Venetian island life. The rooms are light and airy, with a contemporary atmosphere and a spartan cleanliness with antique furniture accents. Venisa is home to a Michelin-starred gourmet restaurant with an unusual menu sourced from super-local sources such as the property's vegetable garden and the lagoon's waters. The fee of the room includes Wi-Fi, but breakfast must be purchased separately. The cost of a room starts at £90 per night. Palazzo Abadessa. This opulent hotel is brimming with Venetian elegance, complete with vintage decorations, antique furnishings, and Murano glass chandeliers. This neighborhood is popular with tourists and is located in the tranquil Canareggio region, north of Venice. Despite its distance from Venice's main attractions, it is well connected to the historic center and has a plethora of restaurants. The hotel has the sensation of walking inside a Venetian family's tiny palace. There are minute elements to notice everywhere you look. The salon is tastefully adorned with works by Tintoretto's contemporaries, so you're in for a treat. Another appealing feature is the magnificent frescoed ceilings. The garden is a nice quiet area where you may enjoy an aperitivo in the evening or breakfast in the morning. On those unseasonably warm mornings, the breakfast room is a pleasant spot to dine. The hostel owners and staff are really knowledgeable and helpful. Though this resort can be pricey during peak season, keep an eye out for bargains during off-season. The cost of a night starts at £95. Al Ponte Mosinigo. This beautiful, classic hotel with a central courtyard boasts period characteristics while remaining surprisingly contemporary, making it the ideal budget hotel for your Venetian stay. The hotel neighborhood is free of throngs of people, However it is a little far from the main tourist attractions, Rialto Bridge, 10 minutes on foot. This is by no means a hindrance to exploring Venice, given the proximity of the train station and the Sanste Vaporetto stop. Spend the day soaking up the magnificent atmosphere of Venice, and come here at night to get away from it all in relative tranquility. The original rooms are arranged in a circle around the lovely central courtyard. If the weather is nice, you can have a complimentary breakfast in the courtyard. 
Otherwise, plan your day's itinerary while sipping your morning coffee and eating pastries and fruit in the ground floor breakfast area. The rooms are spacious and light-filled, with antique furniture that exudes vintage charm. The decor is colored with crimson, green, and gold tones. The main hotel, which has a courtyard, a small bar, a Turkish bath, and a cluster of rooms, has an annex next door that can accommodate more people. Though the hotel does not have a restaurant, there is a tiny bar on the premises that is open even throughout the day and is the perfect place to enjoy an evening aperitivo. For those hot months, there is complimentary Wi-Fi throughout the property, as well as air conditioning in the rooms. All of the rooms have private bathrooms, which is really useful. For a twin or double room, prices start at £80 per night. However, during high season, prices will soar. Generator Venice Despite the lack of multiple high-quality hostels and low-cost accommodations, this floating city does have one fantastic hostel in a superb position. From the comfort of, take in views of some of the city's most famous sites. With an amazing position in the heart of Venice, this is one of Generator's best and most costly hostels. The actual position of is on the island of Giudecca's seafront. The iconic Piazza San Marco is only a short vaporetto right away from the hostel. The hostel is housed in a historic granary that has been turned into a hostel. The hostel maintains its Venetian character while also including a modern design element. Mosaic floors, Rubelli textile curtains, and Murano glass chandeliers are among the design's highlights. A large fireplace, typical of Palladian craftsmanship, is also present. There are individual and communal rooms available, some of which have sea views. When it comes to room selections, visitors to this hostel will be spoiled for choice. There are nine various types of rooms to choose from, including private rooms and suites, shared dormitory rooms, and double or twin rooms. Bunks with privacy boards, power plugs, EU only, reading lights, and a lockup storage are among the amenities of a dorm room, while the perks of a private suite include complimentary toiletries, plush towels, and an ensuite bathroom, to mention a few. Free Wi Fi, an on site bar and restaurant, 24 hour reception, chill out areas, laundry, and a cafe to enjoy that perfect cup of coffee are just a few of the amenities available at the hostel. The location and the building's history are what distinguish Generator Venice as a premium hostel. Each of the rooms has a breathtaking outlook. Views of the Lido, the gardens, the Grande Canal, and San Marco are all available. The bus, followed by the boat, is a cost-effective way to get to the accommodation. Take the ATVO to Piazzale Roma in Venice. Take the ATVO to Venice Piazzale Roma if you're traveling by bus and then ferry. If arriving by plane, the journey takes 20 minutes from Marco Polo Airport or 40 minutes from Treviso Airport. Take the Vaporetto from Piazzale Roma. The number 2 or 4.1 will take you to the island of Giudecca. Take a break at the Zetel. On your right, 100 meters away, lies the hostel. If arriving by train, the Vaporetto may be found directly outside the Santa Lucia station in Venezia. Given the limited number of hostel options in this floating city, we've created a hidden gem of a hostel with an outstanding position. Due to strong demand, reservations should be made as soon as possible. During the summer, it can get rather crowded. The Sky Suite, which sleeps 1 to 2 people, costs 40 euros per room, while shared rooms cost 16 euros per bed. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.